If you have brought some media in that was captured from tape into your project, uh, you may notice that the real number names or the tape names are nothing but zero 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 zero. You may remember when you captured it that you did assign it to proper real number names or tape names, but now for some reason or another as you take a look at it uh, after importing it into a new project, you've got nothing but zeros. Let me just fire up a program that I've got online here uh, to show you what I mean. I was on a, a shoot last year in Mongolia shooting with a, a brand new tapeless camera and, but got back to the studio and realized that I didn't have quite enough material to cover the shots, cover the interviews. And so what I did is I went back and uh, found uh, a series of tapes that I had shot in 2007. And uh, I believe probably the hard drive that I had captured those two uh, back in 2007 was either missing or uh, had gone down. And so I needed to recapture those tapes again. And, uh, and so I started an HDV project because these tapes were in uh, HDV format. And I captured all those tapes again. And as I did, I was... I was uh, very careful to you know name my clips according to the tape names and uh, and then I assigned each tape a tape name under the real number field and as long as I was in the project the HDV project that I was using to capture the material I was fine the real numbers stuck they they whenever I opened reopened that project the the real number or the tape names were there in a correct fashion but then when I imported that HDV media into my HD project, I found that the tape names, or the real number names, had reverted to zeros. Now, if you don't see the real number field showing up in your bin here, it's probably because you don't have it turned on. Just know that, uh, let's stretch this out a bit, that uh, when you uh, look at your bin, there's probably a lot more information that you could display about any given clip uh, than what shows up by default. And how you get m more information is you take your mouse and just kind of point it to the header here in your bin and right click and a drop down menu shows you all the different types of information that you can display. And uh, the one we're looking for is real number. And if you're coming from a, a different program, uh, this is the same as tape name. And as we take a look at it, we see uh, that I was, exp as I was telling you, that even though when I captured them, all of these real number or tape names were correct, when I imported them into my new HD project, they were no longer correct. So, what to do? Well, first of all, we might ask why. <laughs> and the only answer I can really come up with is that it is a bug, and, and we've reported it uh, to EDIUS and I think they're looking into it. It seems to be a reoccurring bug in EDIUS. I remember when I first even looked into using EDIUS back in 2005, there was a problem with the real number uh, names. In fact, I don't even think back then the program allowed you to assign a tape name when you were capturing tape. You had to go in and manually add these later or change these later after you had uh, imported or captured the tape. It was kind of a convoluted thing. But for one reason or another, they seem to get it fixed in one release and, it's, and it works great. And then when the next release comes out, the bug has popped its ugly head back up again. And uh, you end up with a problem with your tape. And that's why when, um, if you've watched my tutorial on capturing tape, that I highly recommend that when you're assigning your clip names, that you uh, name your clips uh, in, an, in such a way that it reflects the tape that these clips are coming from. And so as we look down here, for example, here, let's maybe just change this back to a... Uh, I can go and take a look at any clip, and even though I've lost my real number information, I can tell by the clip name itself where or uh, what tape th this clip is on. I see that it's uh, Mongolia 7, uh, referring to the year that I uh, that this uh, shoot is from, Mongolia 2007, and that it's on tape number 2, and that this is clip number 14 from that tape. Scroll down again some more, and uh, select a clip, and we see that this is from the same shoot, Mongolia 7, and it's tape number 4, and it's clip number 14. And uh, 
And so that, that helps. Should this bug ever rise its head again at any point along the way, I will always know, based on my clip names, where these clips are coming from. Okay, but what to do now? Well, if all you had was, uh, you know, three or four um, clips that you needed to rename, you could just do it manually. Just double click in that area and you can uh, manually go in and rename it. Just type in the new name. And if all you had was 10 or 15, 20, you could probably just, you know, go and copy that information and uh, paste it into the next field. But, you know, if you have 20 tapes and each one has about 100 or so average uh, clips, this could become very tedious. And so we want to come up with a better way of doing this. And uh, what you can do is go and select all of the media from one tape. We see we're looking here at Mongolia 7, tape 1. Just scroll down and uh, see where the change happens there. All of these, using your shift key, select the last one on the tape. Now we have all of Mongolia uh, 2007, tape 1, selected. Mm -hmm. And uh, so once we have them all selected, what you are looking for is this little uh, icon here that looks like a, a, a list of data. Just click on that and you'll see that your field opens up ready to be renamed but also keeps the whole group of uh, clips selected. Let's rename this one. Hit enter. And you'll see that uh, it has automatically reassigned names to all of the clips that we had selected. Let's do it one more time. Let's grab all of Mongolia 7, uh, tape 2, and scroll down to the change. Here it happens here. With your shift key down, select the last clip, point and click to your little icon here, and rename. Tape 2. Hit enter, and that renames the tape name or real number name for all of the clips on, on tape 2. And so on. You go through your whole list of tapes that way. And the reason why this is important um, is that should your hard drive ever go down and you need to rebuild your project, if your real number names or tape names are properly assigned in the database, you can set up a auto batch capture using the batch capture tool of EDIUS and uh, go to your offline, uh, restore offline clip tool and open the uh, restoration dialog box, select all the ones that are offline, and one of your options will be to start batch capture. And if you have proper real number names assigned, EDIUS will say, okay, insert tape one, and insert tape two, etc. And then it'll go and recapture all of the media that is missing uh, from that particular tape. But if you have a project that has 20 tapes and all of the real numbers are the same, 00000000, EDIUS is just going to say, please insert tape 00000000, and you're not going to know which tape to insert out of, out of your 20 tapes. So it's important uh, to have real number names or tape names assigned to help, uh, to help uh, you do a batch capture should your media or your hard drive ever go offline. Okay, well that's it for uh, batch converting your real number names.